Here's what I made for Shabbos this week. Are you judging me? Oh. <laughs> Still testing recipes for my cookbook for like the third, fourth, fifth time. I don't know. This is the steak tidbits. Too much meat went into this. I know you'd say too much meat. It's never too much, but there's uh, too much meat for the amount of sauce. And then this is my cornflake crumb chicken that's baked with Israeli couscous underneath. And yes, it is actually called Israeli couscous. It was invented in Israel and it's little pasta pearls. I'm gonna make some horseradish this week and I just wanted to show you what it looks like before uh, you do anything with it. This one's got a little curve. I made this other chicken. It's a little bit burnt on top, but honestly, it's gonna taste so good. Those are onions. I don't know what's in it though. I just used a store-bought sauce and then I added soy sauce to it and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm making my barbecue brisket soup again and it hasn't even fully cooked yet. I just wanna show you how beautiful it is already. And one of my testers recommended adding more green peppers, so that's what I did. This baby cauliflower from Trader Joe's has date syrup and olive oil, Dijon mustard. It looks really good. The zucchini muffins just came out and they are so cute. We serve these as a side dish, but honestly, they could be breakfast. They could be dessert too. It is so fluffy. The soup is ready and I am shredding up that meat right now. And for those who are asking, yes, in the cookbook, I'm going to make sure that the cuts of meat I recommend are universal cuts. Sometimes based on your region or based on some kosher cuts, they make up different names, but I'm gonna make sure that the names that you see in the cookbook, you recognize. And I also have this other soup. This is the chicken and dumplings without the dumplings on top. These boneless short ribs just came out of the oven. I actually made them using my brisket spice. The spice is going in the book, but I also have it on my website now. And we're not gonna have all this soup for Shabbos. I'm gonna freeze a whole bunch of this so we have it for future Shabbos weekends and during the week too. Nora's broccoli and cauliflower. I defrosted some homemade challah. I made these lemon cookies. We call them Ema's cookies because they were made by my great grandmother. And these cookies are actually part of the story of how my grandparents met. Oh, I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to show you guys this. It's my marinated cucumber salad and we added some jalapeno to it. I decided to make this tropical mousse. It's actually for my friend's new cookbook, Real Life Pesach Cooking. And a lot of the recipes in here really don't have to be just made on Pesach. And this is the strawberry sauce that goes on top. And the last thing that just came out of the oven is this eggplant. I don't know what I'm calling it yet, but it's some kind of herby roasted eggplant. And it's amazing served with tahini. And I hate to disappoint, but I did not make the horseradish today. I'm gonna make it on Saturday night or Sunday.